In this video, I go over installing Fedora 29 for the first time. To begin installing Fedora 29, you need to first download it. Go to getfedora.org, select Workstation, and come to this screen and download the Fedora Media Writer for Windows. This will download. And once it does, it'll need to download the full install of Fedora, which is roughly about 1.8 gigs. Now just insert your USB drive. It'll pop up here in this drop down menu and select Write to Disk. Okay, now with that finished, our USB drive is good to go. We can go ahead and take that to our computer. We're going to put Fedora on, or if you want to put it on the computer you actually use to write the image, you can absolutely do that as well. Just be, just know that you, you'll probably end up deleting Windows um, if you don't have enough space to partition your drive off, or if you don't know what that means, uh, just, just imagine, you know, that's a risk. So... Now that this is done, we're able to take this and proceed with the install of Fedora 29. Okay, for the start here, uh, if you want to just test out Fedora, you're more than welcome to just go ahead and hit test this media and just test out the environment. However, if you want to install it, let's go ahead and do the top option, start Fedora Workstation. This will go ahead and load into the installation environment for us to partition, destroy the drive, and put Fedora 29 on this. Okay, now that we have it up, we'll go ahead and hit install to hard drive. Choose your language. We're going to choose English. And then as far as installation, you need to click on here, choose your drives. And then if you need to configure the drive differently, you can actually reclaim space if you're overwriting an existing Windows install or another Linux distribution. You would basically just click this drive and then a pop-up would come up and you would just say reclaim space and it would wipe that drive out and we would be good to start. So we're gonna go click done in the top left hand corner. All right, it'll take a couple seconds here to save our configuration. And then we'll hit begin installation. And this will take anywhere between five and probably 10 minutes. I haven't really seen it take much longer than that in most installs unless it's pretty old hardware. Okay, now that we're finished with the install here, we can go ahead and quit out. Fedora is a little bit different than most installers because it doesn't actually give a prompt to auto reboot. Simply go up to the top right here and hit the little power button. This will usually pop up in a couple seconds. It's usually a little laggy on an install media. I don't know why, but it works itself out here. And restart. At this time, uh, once the final reboot happens, you can go ahead and remove your USB media as it is no longer needed. On first boot, you're going to be presented with a welcome screen. This is where we're going to set up your username and typical settings. I like to turn off location services and automatic problem reporting. I usually always skip this, even though I have a Google account and a Microsoft account. Um, I just don't particularly care to fill that out there. Um, go ahead and fill out your name and whatever username you want to have. I'm going to go ahead and leave it at Chris Titus. Password, you can just put whatever you want here. I'm going to just put a weak password in and start. So this is the initial install to get to the Fedora desktop. From here, um, you can go ahead and hit your super key and 
get installed. So you'll you got your activities and some other stuff up here. If you want their how to or getting started guides, go ahead and click here to learn basic things. Um, and in my next video, I'm going over how to do all the hotkeys and set it up to where it's more functional. By default, there's certain things of Fedora 29 I don't like, which I will get into on the next video, but you can easily fix all these things and set it up to where it's, I think, personally, the best operating system in Linux for a workstation. Thanks for watching my video. If you have any feedback or comments, please let me know below. And if you'd like to see more tech videos, hit the subscribe button and check me out on my website, chrisTitus.com.